Hello everyone, and today we're gonna have a quick look at the new Microsoft Surface Keyboard. Let's get started. Unboxing the Surface Keyboard, naturally we get the keyboard and a quick manual. This full-sized keyboard is thin and very light, but it's also sturdy and incredibly firm under your fingers. So it's designed to be portable, and you could say, small. And the quintessential part of the keyboard is the keys, which are made of plastic. They got good click feel, and I've got no complaint about the spacing between each key. The design is minimal and attractive, and the body feels like metal. Microsoft says it has a battery life up to 12 months and a wireless range up to 7 meters in office environment and up to 15 meters in open air. Moving on, physically the keyboard measures at about 421 millimeters in length and about 113 millimeter in width. Laying it over the desk, the height is about 19 millimeter. Now when it comes to setting up the device and connecting it to the computer, the pairing procedure was easy and straightforward. Just press the pair button beneath the keyboard and add it to your computer Bluetooth manager. The keyboard has various useful shortcuts and most of them we've seen them before. Now let's talk about the drawbacks. The first drawback, it has no adjustable feet, so you'll be stuck with it flat over your desk. For the second drawback, you cannot use this keyboard in BIOS. You will need Windows running to use the Bluetooth drive to connect to this keyboard. It'd be marvelous if Microsoft has included a backup USB cable. A third drawback is there's no backlight feature. I know it would eat battery but would be useful when it's dark. Overall, this keyboard is built for an office environment. It's high quality, well executed and aesthetically beautiful, but at a high cost of 100 US dollars. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.